All right, welcome to the final info session of 2021. I'm your host, Helen Marshall, founder of Primal Alternative, and I'm so stoked that you're with me today. So let's dive straight into the info session where you're going to find out how you can kickstart your fab freedom-based business from home as a primal alternative producer, or as we like to say, a primalistra. There we go. All right. So what's going to happen in today's event? Well, you're going to find out how this all works. You're going to find out how you can save over $500 and beat the recent price rise that we've had since the 1st of November. I'm going to tell you all about the brand new baking starter kit and explain how that can significantly reduce your startup costs as a local food producer. And I am going to be letting people in as we go. Uh, I am I'm going to reveal a surprise never been seen before fab bonus. All right. So it's, this is quite sort of scary for me to do, but very exciting. And it's only going to be for the people who are live at today's event or watching the replay. So if you're checking out the replay, that's cool. The fab bonus, I'm going to explain all the details in a little while. Um, we've got until the end of November to take action on that. Um, and you need to mention this, the secret code, which is fab, fab, and you're fab. And this bonus is fab. Um, and I'm not going to be saying about it anywhere else. So I'm not, I understand, you know, one o'clock, 10 o'clock, whatever time it is in your time zone, 10 o'clock for me, I'm in um, Western Australia on the South Coast. Um, I'll just explain that. So I'm on the south coast of Australia in a little town called Denmark. And I do have one prime lister that came to uh, look at Primal Alternative and went away the first time. She thought, oh, this is a British business. She's English, <laughs> which I am. And then she looked again. She's like, oh, it's Denmark. Oh, it's Scandinavian. <laughs> and then it was only the third time of coming back to the business that she realized that it was actually Australian. So I thought I'd um, better clear that up in case you're wondering yourself. Um, I'm going to stick around and answer all of your questions. You'll probably find um, that most of them will be, you will be answered in this info session. So sit back, um, come with an empty cup, act like a sponge, take it all in. It's going to be pretty fun and entertaining. And like I said, there is a yummy surprise bonus for one of you lucky attendees. So let's get into it. Now, if you like what you see doing today's info session and the idea of becoming a primal alternative producer is resonating with you and you're thinking, oh my goodness, I'm so terrified and excited and I want to do it. The next step is to book your free 30 minute call. So I'm, I do most of the calls, but I also have a couple of the primalistas that help me out with the calls too. So that can be really cool to speak to someone who was once in your position, took the jump and is doing it themselves. Um, so it can be quite cool to talk to a real life primalista as well. All right. So a little bit of an introduction before we get into the info session. So I'm a, um, Helen Marshall, a please call me H. It's much my, even my dad calls me H. Um, a primal living expert and certified primal health coach. And I've got over 30 years, gosh, I'm old, uh, experience in the health and wellness industry, starting off as an aerobics teacher at the age of 14, back in the day when we were talking about calories in, calories out, and low-fat diets, and cardio, cardio, and all of that. Uh, so been there and done that, as I'm sure you have too. I'm a speaker. I've been a guest on over 25 podcasts across the world and spoken at various key wellness events across the country, you know, back in the day when we used to do those sorts of things. Um, I've had my own food as medicine health transformation. Uh, and I'd love to know if any of you girls have too, because usually there is a reason why we come to this way of eating. Um, and I'll tell you a little bit about mine in a moment. Primal Alternative as a brand has been established for seven years. Um, so I started off producing the products in my local country town and I realized they were a hit and I wanted to get them out to the world, uh, which is why I created the Primalista license. And this is the fifth year of uh, welcoming like-minded, high-vibing, awesome women into the community to bring real food into our communities to create 
you know, just a sustainable, homemade, healthy version of the foods we love, but also to create a different way of working that's out of the patriarchal paradigm, which doesn't necessarily suit everybody. <laughs> Could do a whole info session on that, but won't go there. This license has been successfully replicated in four countries across the world, predominantly Australia. My blinkers are on Australia. It's the only country I advertise in. However, just organically, um, you know, being on different podcasts, uh, we've reached the UK and uh, New Zealand and the US. We've got over 33 streamlined products of a four different product lines. So it's not just bread. Uh, I'll tell you a little bit more about the products in a moment. We've got over 400, I think it's about 450 stockists now. Um, and it's the world's leading bake from home business. Like there's nothing else like this. A lot of people know they're looking for something and they don't know what they're looking for until they see this, right? Um, if, you, if you know of something similar, let me know. I'm sure more things like this will pop up. But as far as I understand, there isn't anything else like this out there, which is cool, right? Um, and this license has helped over 240 people, predominantly women, two blocks along the way, <laughs> um, get started in their own primal alternative business. So let's talk a little bit about the range. So the Primal alternative products are ready-made breads, pizza bases and wraps, as well as cookies and jellies. We also have a granola range, which is awesome because breakfasts have got to be, right, the hardest thing for people to get used to, don't you think, um, in terms of trying to find a solution to put something in instead of Cheerios or All Bran, which used to be my breakfast of choice back in the day. We've also got packet mix versions of all of our products, which was a very clever idea um, by another primalista, not by me. Um, so, you know, if, if our customers are looking for that bake from home experience, but they don't want to charge the pantry with lots of expensive, you know, ingredients. I mean, you know, who, you've been there. I'm sure you have, right? I've been there. But you've thought, gosh, I really want to make this brownie recipe or whatever. And you go to your local health food shop and you spend $60, $70 on ingredients for one thing. Then you take two spoons out of a packet and then, then it's just in there. You think, well, what do I do with that now? <laughs> Been there? Yes, let me know. Um, so the packet mixes are wonderful for that low uh, cost, low faff, low stress, bake from home experience. So the customers just add their eggs and their wet ingredients, right? We've also got a whole foods range. So if you think uh, like co-op, so if it, like a food co-op, so you're, you've got a wholesale account, you're buying um, whole food ingredients in bulk and you add a margin on, you bag it up, you sell it on to your customer, which can be awesome as well. So it's a very streamlined range. We're kind of like doing the most that we can with these different products and having a streamlined range is really key. I know that when I started, I wanted to be all the things I wanted to do, you know, um, ready-made meals and nut milks and kombuchas and broths, but there's only so much that you can do um from home that's low risk uh which is what we wanted to do you know i wanted to work from home i didn't want to hire out a kitchen i wanted to work from home working around the family and all the other things i wanted to do um so yeah so that's why you know actually finding out that doing the other stuff was illegal which i found out the hard way i didn't know you had to get a license to make food for the community but turns out you do um and actually finding out that i could only do these products was brilliant because we could really, I think I would have burnt out um, trying to do everything and be all the things to all the people, all right? So that's really, really key for having your own business. So I don't need to tell you that consumers have lost faith in big supermarket brands, right? You know, that's why you're here. But we know that over 59% of people believe that natural products meet their dietary requirements much better than regular supermarket foods, right? Did, did you have that aha experience when you realized that everything in the middle shelves of the supermarket is made from sugar, wheat, and dairy? Have you had that moment? Yeah. <laughs> so you go, oh, oh my goodness, just three things. So by all means, you know, shopping the outsides of the supermarket is, you know, if you go in the supermarket, 
um, the best way to go. But definitely bring in um, your dollar home, shop in uh, with your local farmers, go into your farmer's markets, your local food producers is the way to go. And especially now that we're heading into all sorts of um, supply chain shortages, it's really important to know who can provide food for you locally, right? So 45% of people said the range of natural food options in the supermarket is insufficient. And these are inf this is information from Play MR. And I know, like, and you know too. I mean, I'm preaching to the converted here. Um, but the health foods, the health food aisles at the supermarket, are they really full of health foods? I don't know. I don't think so. I certainly don't buy um, anything from those aisles at the supermarket. So let's have a look what the primal alternative offering is. So this, we, what we're looking to do is provide a healthy, nourishing, real food alternative that's homemade with love, not pumped out in a big factory. Um, but there's a certain energy, right, in home-cooked food. When somebody's made a homemade biscuit or you're not well and somebody makes you something or just you make food for your family and you know that you kind of infuse it with an energy of love, right? And I think that a lot of that has been lost. Well, it's all lost, right? If something's pumped out in a factory, um, yeah, you're losing that, that energy. I mean, how, we don't know how to measure that yet, but you know, right? <laughs> you know exactly what I'm talking about. So I started off with the traditional range over here on the left which was fruit toast, pumpkin bread, zucchini bread, chopped chip cookies, jellies, and pizza bases. And that's all I did. And I made a beautiful little business. Um, but I was selling about $1,000 a week, baking two mornings a week, and making a gross profit of about 500 bucks a week, which was brilliant because I was only working about 10 hours a week and paid the mortgage. Fantastic. Uh, we have then moved with the market because that was kind of when paleo, like seven years ago, paleo was the thing. Then the trend went much more to a low carb keto way of life. So I just tweaked the zucchini bread, uh, took out one ingredient and swapped it, came up with fat and seedy bread, which is, has been the best selling bread for years now. And the same, did the same thing with the pizza bases, just tweaked the recipe. They're all my recipes. That was a question I got asked the other day. I haven't talked about that for a while, but I, I formulated them all. Um, I'm not a chef or a cook or anything like that. I just, uh, I like real good food and it's got to taste good. There's no point in it just being healthy if it tastes like crap or tastes like cardboard, right? So tweak the pizza bases, got fat and seedy pizza bases. Um, none at hemp bread. Uh, we were looking to do a bread that didn't have any nuts in it. And also the non at hemp wraps, I mean, they're just fantastic to be able to have a wrap um, that's clean and delicious and bendy. Yeah, it's that doesn't taste of coconut is good. Uh, yeah, so you can see we've got a really wide range um, vegan um, range without eggs, without any animal products. Um, yeah, so there really is, I find, something. There's a primal alternative like for every food that you were craving or like thinking, well, I can do this protocol, but for the long term, I really want pizza or I really want a quick lunch on the go. Um, or like tonight, we're having a quiche. I've got some eggs to use up. How could you make a quiche if you're grain free? Well, we can with our wonderful pastries from the lovely Joe at Quirky Cooking. All right. So Primal Alternative in its uh, seven years, well, more so the last five years, has become a really well loved brand by some of the industry leaders like Quirky Cooking. So Joe Witten, Low Tox Life, Alex Stewart. We make products with both of these businesses, both of these brands. Helen Paderin, Jordan Pye, Steph Lowe, Kirsty Worth, Additive Free Kids, Changing Habits Approved. We, Cindy O'Meara made us this little... Uh, logo, which is very cool. Kim Morrison, Deborah Murta, Pete Evans, and so many more. Um, you know, people that I look up to, and they love what we're doing, and that's really helped um, Primal Alternative become a well-known and loved brand. Which just means that when you start your business, you're jumping on an already moving train. People will have already heard 
about your business, which means, yeah, you can get up and running and, and selling products quicker than if you started an unknown brand from scratch, right? Because we've already got this um, digital word of mouth, essentially. So what about you? So that's my intro. I want to hear about you. I'm going to open up the chat group and say hi to you all. I want to know a little bit about you. And if you're watching the replay, just answer these questions in your head. But for those that are joining me live, I would love to know um, what's your why? why? Why are you here today? Why did you stick this time in your diary to come and join this crazy woman on Zoom <laughs> and find out about this? And all I want you to do is just pop the numbers in the chat group. That would be great. So is it because, one, you've lost your passion for your nine to five and need a change? Is it two, you've started a family or got a family and want to make some extra money from home? Number three, would you like to build a side hustle doing something you enjoy or look for a new source of income, new stream of income? It certainly is uncertain times. So um, it's always nice to, you know, one is a very dangerous number. If you've just got one source of income, it can be very dangerous. Uh, it's nice to have a few streams of income, at least one or two. Have you always been interested in becoming your own boss? Do you want to help others reclaim their health with real food without boring the pants off them and telling them that they should live like you? <laughs> or all of the above. So just let me know in your chat group. All right. So Sam's saying she eats whole food plant-based and been doing so for over three years. Jackie says she's on her own health journey. Recently diagnosed with MS, triggered by mole toxicity. True. That's a, that's a tough one. Um, do you follow, follow Alex Stewart? I bet you do, because she is the go-to for all of those things. All right. So Sam is saying she wants to build a side hustle, doing something she enjoys, wants to help others reclaim their health with food. And Jackie says, uh, wants an extra income, build a side hustle, uh, always been interested in becoming her own boss and wants to help others. Yeah, awesome. Oh, Jackie loves Alex. That's her. Oh, hello. <laughs> yes, we are very, very, very happy to be the proud sponsor of the Low Tox podcast. So Pip says, I've been looking for something I can do from home since I lost my catering business due to COVID. I work at a local cellar door that offers local produce, but we struggle with a vegan option. Vegan, yeah, GF. Food, ugh, all of these cellar doors, are, it's just like uh, wheat and dairy, isn't it? <laughs> when you go to these places, you're like, oh, there's a piece of lettuce on the platter that I could eat. <laughs> Food has been medicine for 20 years plus, so it would be great doing something. Yes. Brilliant. Wonderful. Thank you. All right. So what's stopping you from moving ahead? So either now or in the past, is it money constraints, time constraints, lack of know-how, family duties? Current job restraints or my favorite, fear, self-doubt, or lack of confidence. So just the same drill. Just let me know in the chat. Sip of coffee. And while you're cracking on with that, and you're, if you're watching the replay, just go through that in your head. It's good to know where you're at. And we talk more about this. Um, on the Primal Lister call. It's, it's pretty much the Primal Lister call is like a coaching session, man. It's really cool. <laughs> it's a really good call. All right. So Primal Alternative started with a health crisis. And I just wanted to let you into a little bit of an insight as to, you know, um, why this, this came about. So as you know, um, as I said, mentioned before, I've been in the health and wellness industry forever. So I've always been highly motivated to be healthy. So that's why I found it really, it was a real head scratcher to be 38, a mum of two kids, two young kids at that stage, and to not be able to sleep. I couldn't poo. I felt sick all the time. My whole body was just a pain machine. I had to jump out of bed in the middle of the night to take some neurofen because the pain was so intense just to be able to get back to sleep, which I now know was kind of feeding into the problem. Um, I was bloated all the time. I used to lie on the couch in the, on the afternoon with my zip down, just holding on to my belly going, oh, because my so much abdominal pain, a lot of inflammation and some really dark phobias, just dark, dark, horrible, 
you know when you just can't stop your brain from going somewhere and you and you think oh this isn't me I'm normally quite you know positive not beaten lively and up for a laugh and fun and and oh I couldn't stop thinking about the kids getting sick and I couldn't stop thinking about like all the sort of dark characters in the world and in town and yeah, it was really, you know, and I, you know, I know all about um, positive affirmations and all of that kind of thing, but I just couldn't slap an affirmation on this. So I was just, it was like, I don't know now that, you know, the gut brain axis, um, you know, if you've got gut issues, then you're going to have mental health issues. And I was very anxious, as you can imagine, going out was a real problem because I felt so sick and sort of claustrophobic. And I remember driving about an hour. So this event was like an hour and a quarter away, driving to a Maggie Dent event, you know, Maggie Dent, the parenting expert. And we got about 15 minutes away from the venue and I had to turn back and I had my friend with me in the car and she had to drive back with me and then get her car and then go on again. And it was, just, I just like, I just can't sit in a room. I don't know how long I'm going to be in there for. I might feel sick. It was just horrible. So, you know, when you feel all like those things, you do you have depression? You're like, well, what's the point? And I remember thinking I must be dying of some horrible disease. And to be honest with you, the outcome of that sounded quite a relief because I did not see the point of going on. It was a very hard time in my life. And um, yeah, uh, yeah, yes, that'll just leave it there. What more can you say? Not very nice, not very nice. So I reclaimed my health with a primal lifestyle so um it was just one night actually I was just sort of it was like the dark night of my soul and I was just saying all of what I've said to you to my husband and he was like oh man I just want you to be better girl he's a kiwi boy want you to be better girl I'm always not good don't like seeing you like this girl and um I was like you know what I should go and see a naturopath but we were brokers at the time right I couldn't afford to see a naturopath. And I said, anyway, she's just going to tell me to go gluten-free. And it was almost like a strike of divine inspiration. Oh, go gluten-free. So I put it on Facebook, like you do, to hold yourself accountable. I was like, right, I'm going gluten-free. What do I, what's got gluten in? What hasn't? Like, oh, rice is gluten-free. Oh, okay. I didn't know that, you know. And um, and it wasn't, I was only like literally two comments away from entering the paleo um rabbit hole right so one of my friends said to me well if you're going gluten-free you might as well go paleo so you know in for a penny in for a pound so I did and I could literally not believe how after a very horrible detox I won't lie it was worse than how I was feeling but that only lasted about five days and then um yeah it was like a veil had lifted I was like oh my goodness and it turns out I have a very severe gluten intolerance uh, which was sort of the the root of all of the problems and then yeah just healing in terms of getting out in the sunshine um moving my body spending more time in nature prioritizing sleep connection all of those sorts of things um just what a transformation so I became a primal health coach because you know I'd been a health instructor all my life um because I realized oh my goodness I've been telling these people the wrong thing you know it felt terrible so I wanted to un- unpick some of that knowledge now that I knew better, I wanted to do better. But the reality was that my clients uh, would feel like this. <laughs> like they were, okay, I get it. Yeah, I've done your 21-day challenge. I feel so much more amazing. My clothes are fitting better. I'm sleeping better. I've got more zest for living in general. But OMG, what the hell am I going to feed the family? And it's it's all everything from scratch. I have to soak my nuts. I got to like ferment my veggies. I've got to get to know, got to be besties with my freaking farmer. <laughs> I can't just go to Coles anymore. There was just, there's so much um, mental load, isn't there? When you first start in this lifestyle. And people got decision fatigue. And at the end of the week, they'd be like, good, 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 just sort of running on willpower. But we all know willpower is finite. And they get to Friday, they'll be like, oh, man, I've been good all week and it's all too hard. I'm just going to dial in a pizza and I might as well finish off this bottle of wine and get dig out that ice cream and finish that off too. So then come Saturday, right? <laughs> been there, done that. Come Saturday, they were just feeling dreadful and, you know, dreadful in terms of, 
actual symptoms, but also like they were a failure. And so I said to them, well, you know what? Um, my husband said that we couldn't do paleo without cookies. And what I've done is I've taken, you know, a good recipe that we all love. I've swapped out the self-raising flour for almond meal. I've swapped out the margarine for organic butter. I've swapped out the composite cake or no, I won't kind of cook or crappy chocolate, you know, from the supermarket. I've replaced that with 70% cacao dark chocolate, et cetera. And I've made this cookie. I've also made some bread and pizza. And we're just finding that it's making our life easier. Would you like to buy some of this from me? And look, it, it was uh, very popular. <laughs> it was very popular. And so I originally started because I had huge imposter syndrome because, you know, I'm not a chef and I am um, don't know anything about food, really, apart from I like to eat it. Uh, and so I thought, well, you know, this is a bit of a Swiss. Who am I to do this? Um, so I just started selling some products sort of quietly on Facebook. Uh, and then a local farmer who I'd made friends with um, said to me, why don't you have a stall at the local markets? Because all of that backwards and forwards on Facebook can be a bit hard and more people will find out about you, et cetera, et cetera. So I did. And I like, absolutely pooed my pants the first few times. But then I got to love it made some amazing friends that are still friends now. Um, and then I just knew that I needed to get these products to more people, but the idea of a factory just didn't light me up. I could contract manufacture this out, smash it out, get into, you know, get distributors, smash it out. Cause it was never about that for me. Right. It was about making grain free easy, but also I knew because in my corporate career, I'd been a recruiter. I knew how hard it is for women, especially women with a family or a life or both who want to work from home, find something that fits around the family that still allows them the time to, to look after themselves too and have a nice life. Because, you know, I tried the whole working full time with kids thing and it, I didn't last a year, it, you know, yeah, didn't work. So I knew that the, the, the women needed this. And I knew that when we come together as a community of women, we can really help each other rise up, you know, through non-competition, collaborative sisterhood. That's what I wanted to create. And I had this vision uh, of this community of, you know, I'm an only child. I don't even know what a sister's like, but I had this vision of what I wanted to create and what has happened with this business far out, out exceeds all of my wildest dreams um it's fabulous so let me get into how this works i'm going to play you a short video um, and run you through a bit of a behind the scenes look at what you get with the license so here we go with the primalista license you're going to get the recipes and resources to create a business that works for you and your lifestyle by producing and selling the Primal Alternative range under the Primal Alternative trademark brand. The license gets you from A to B quicker than if you started a brand from scratch because the product development, branding, packaging, marketing, pricing, and compliance are all done, which means you can get started in your business, baking and earning money within two to eight weeks. The Primalista license is a proven model with a simple to follow system that's been replicated over the last five years by over 220 Primalistas in four different countries. This just means there's more chance of your business being successful too. I'll tell you about a few of the tools available to make your business a success. You'll get the suppliers to get your labels, ingredients and bags at the best price possible. And also our food safety program and letter templates for your food business registration. And if the thought of applying for a food business registration with cancel makes you feel all scared and you're so certain your cancel's worse and your old kitchen won't pass, then congratulations, you're normal. But this document is going to show your environmental health officer everything that they are looking for in terms of our method, um, all of our lab tests to prove that our products are low risk, not potentially hazardous. Therefore, we can make them from a domestic kitchen. 
And it's also going to give you an idea of what council's looking for and arm you with the good food safety and food handling skills that you'll need to know to get approved and be a legit food business operator. You'll get easy to follow recipes and how to videos all designed for your domestic kitchen. And whether you've got a 600 or a 900 oven, you'll be able to fit 12 loaves of bread in at once. You'll get products that we know sell and meet the paleo, low carb and vegan market demands. Your business will be advertised on the Primal Alternative website so customers can find you and place orders. You'll get, uh, sorry, <laughs> I also wanted to tell you about the online shop. So we have an online shop and as a Primalista, you'll be offered the orders that come from the customers closest to you. And if it fits in with your bag, you can do it, but you can also uh, turn them down and pass them on to another Primalista. You're going to get marketing materials. Um, so this is on our resources page in the resource bank. Head down to marketing templates. And you're going to find things in here um, like flyers, business cards, online order postcards and banners for your farmer's markets. We've also got really awesome customer and stockist brochures, not featured here, but they are on there. You're also going to get over 500 professional photos, quote cards, and customer reviews to share online. So here's some of our pictures of our packet mixes and our pancakes. And over to our social media tiles, you'll see Primal Alternative helps me buy. And you've got like, if you don't know what to post on social media, here's some ideas. <laughs> um, this will keep you going for a year, right? And um, what that's going to be doing is just really enhancing the like, know, and trust of your brand so that you can get more sales. Are you feeling a little bit terrified and excited about starting a business? If so, that's a good sign. And I call it terrified. It just means you're doing something that aligns with your values, but it's new. So it's scary. And that's why in the resources, you'll find tools to help take your mindset next level. Because starting a business is a wonderful opportunity for personal growth, learning new skills, and having new experiences and contributing in a new way. You're also going to get support with our super collaborative community who get it in our Primalista Facebook group. So there we go. <laughs> so in summary, you'll be joining a well-established business with, with the support that you need so that you'll have more predictability in your business, more time, more money, less stress, and less risk. So the next step is to book your free 30-minute call with myself or the Primal Alternative Calls team. And on the call, we, what we'll do is we'll spend some time getting clear on what you're looking for. And that'll help us determine if the Primalista license can help. And if you're a good fit for Primal Alternative, we'll use the information that you provide on the form when you book your appointment. And we'll also ask you a few more questions to dig a bit deeper. We'll share the details of the Primalista license with you in full, including all of the financial investment and the $2,000 worth of bonuses, including the baking starter kit. So make sure you ask about that when you book your call and we'll answer all of your questions. And if it's a good fit, we'll offer you the opportunity to join us. So what are you waiting for? Book your free call. Just head to primalalternative.com forward slash call. All right. Uh, hang on. Hello, I'm still here. That was just Helen from the past helping out there with a little presentation. Otherwise, I'll just get, I just, you know, goodness gracious, could go on for another hour or so. So that's nice, right? So that's, you got it in a nutshell. So a question I get asked quite a lot is, are the recipes easy? So I wanted to share with you this video of me making pizza bases. 
Let's make pizza bases. So I'm going in first of all with the cashew nut milk. Then I'm going in with my eggs. Then I am going to add the grain-free baking powder. And they're in with the salt. Don't forget the coconut oil. So I'm just going to... Take that off the Thermomix and just scrape down the sides of the bowl. And just going to mix again, speed five, 30 seconds. And then you're going to take your pizza tray and pop it onto the scales. So once you've measured it, I like to take it off the scales and then just spread it around using your spatula. So the pizzas are all done, so again, we want to take them off the trays straight away. And we're going to put them in the bag like this. And again, one last cuddle, squeezing the air out of the bag. And put the label in the center. And there you go. All right, so what do you think? Do you think you could do that? It's pretty easy. Um, all my, we don't need to watch it again, thanks. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, uh, so all of my recipes are really measure, mix and bake. I can't be doing with faff, like messing around. It just does my head in. So I just want everything really streamlined. And you know, if you're knocking out four or five batches of pizza, it needs to be streamlined, okay? So what about the startup costs? This is another common question. Now I'm all for a lean startup, right? Uh, so let me explain to you what I think you'll need. And bear in mind, I'm gonna to talk to you in a little while, not very long now actually, about the baking starter kit. And when I do, I'll explain how that can reduce these startup costs. So everybody's gonna need every legit food business. I don't know about you, but there seems to be a lot of not illegit, well, illegit businesses popping up. Have you noticed that? A lot of people just, oh, buy my scones on Facebook. Have you noticed that where you are? I've seen that a lot and heard about it a lot, which is fair enough because people are, you know, finding ways to make money and that's fine. But if you want to be a legit food business, which I know you do, you'll need a food business registration from your local council. It costs about $500 depending on your council. And you'll be looking at an annual renewal of about $120 as well. Business expenses, um, tax deductible. But obviously, I'm not offering any financial advice. I'm not an accountant. You'll also need uh, product and public liability insurance, which is about $50 a month. Um, you can shop around. However, we do have a Prime Minister who works for WFI, Prime Minister Chicken. I have my insurance with her and she sorts that insurance for quite a lot of prime listers too. And she can sort you out too. Uh, you're going to need a Thermomix or another food processor with a minimum two litre capacity bowl. Re I recommend starting with what you already have. Don't go out and if we do this. We, I call it stacking or we put up blocks. Um, I remember we were going to do it. We wanted to go camping. So we started to, <laughs> I wouldn't do it now, it was years ago. We started, to, I'm more aware now, but we start, We wrote this list. All right, well, well, we'll need a tent and then we'll need like a table and a camp oven. And, and then we needed a four wheel drive by the end of this list, right? And we looked at the list and we're like, Whew, it's going to cost us like about 80 grand to go away for the weekend. Needless to say, we didn't go camping. So just be mindful that we do put a lot of blocks and we do stack things that we don't actually need. Like we, I've already started to notice that I'm doing it for Christmas. We'll get this and this and this and this. I'm like, whoa, hold on a minute, hold on a minute. Rain it in. <laughs> Doesn't have to be expensive to be good, right? And when you start a business as well, you can get quite shiny object syndrome. They want to buy all the things. Uh, so do restrain yourself. So you're going to need at least 12, 20 loaf tins. You'll be able to get 12 loaves in the oven at once. Yes, it's true. I can have photographic evidence. Uh, our, our tins are quite small. And whether you've got a, a 600 or a 900 oven, some people have got 1.1 ovens now. Very exciting. 
you can fit 20, 12 loaves in. So you want to have some in the oven and you need to have some free tins to be making the other stuff to go in after that batch, right? You'll also want about 18, why 18 pizza trays? Because the pizza um, batches do nine pizzas, but you can get as many of those as you want. Going to need cooling racks. You've probably already got some. You can get them dirt cheap from places like Kmart, Coles, Spotlight. Um, they often have sales on, um, so go and grab a few more if needed. You'll need insect nets, insect nets to go over the trays while the products are cooling, just to reduce insects landing on them, dust, mold, that kind of thing. Um, so again, you've probably already got some stock up when they're on sale. You'll need eight baking trays or cookie sheets for the cookies, right? And jelly molds if you're going to do jellies. Quite a lot of prime listers don't do jellies. Um, you're going to need some accurate scales, baking paper, water spray to help the look. You can read it. It's all pretty straightforward. You're going to need labels, bags, bio bags if you decide to do the packet mixes and a heat sealer. You can get cheaper heat sealers than that, but this is all sort of on, on the edge of um, to, you know, maximum amounts. And you're going to need your first lot of ingredients. So a lot of, so we'll be looking at about $1,800 worth of startup costs. I'm going to show you how we can reduce that down to about, um, to about a thousand. Um, bearing in mind, half of that is going to be your ingredients. So you see at the bottom here, the ingredients, but you will make money on that once you start selling, right? And a lot of the other things, um, you know, like your bags and your labels are already factored in the cost of goods. So you get money back when you sell them. And the other things you'll be able to sell on. So when primalisters hang up their apron, which I'll talk about as well in a minute, um, you can sell your product, you can sell your stuff on and make your money back. Obviously, it's not guaranteed, but you'd have to go and put it out there to sell it. So primalista Amy, who's my primalister, she's fabulous. She says, having started only not quite two months ago, I've been blown away with how instant the cash flow was. So this is an old quote. So she's been with us now for about 15 months. Going gangbusters. So would you like to hear from some real life prime listers? Yes, please, H. Okay, then. So here's prime lister Rosie. Um, she's in her fourth year now. Her business, well, when I spoke to her at the end of her third year, her business was turning over 70,000. I don't know if she's doing more than that now. Chances are she is because she's a rock star. Um, she was at that time baking three and a half days a week. She did tell me in a recent Prime Minister panel that her business is no more five days a week and she takes six weeks annual leave a year. And let's hear from Rosie. Knew immediately that I was, that I wanted to do Prime Alternative as soon as I heard it, as soon as I heard about it and read a little bit about it. I knew that I could do it. Um, and the reason being is that everything, like all the startup things were, well, you know, all the, all the bits and pieces, all the legalities, all the, all the technicalities um, are already, were already done. Um, uh, if I had had to start from scratch, if I'd had to um, do the logo and the um, deal with council by myself, or even, you know, knowing that you have to deal with the council, um, I, I would not have had the confidence to do it. Um, so if I was to say, um, so I, I didn't have a dream of having my own business. Um, I knew um, before I started Primal Alternative that um, I, I knew that I wasn't where I wanted to be in life. I knew that um, I wasn't aligned with the profession I was in, um, but I didn't know how to get out of it. And then Primal Alternative gave me this amazing, incredible uh, reason and, um, path to get to move from where I was to where I wanted to be and I knew that and I knew that I wanted to be with Primal Alternative I knew that I could do it um uh I just yeah like I said if I'd had to do it all by myself I would not I I would have really struggled to to overcome the feeling of not being of the lack of confidence in in myself <laughs> all right how gorgeous is Rosie? Love that woman. Oh, okay. All right. Let's meet Prime Minister Shah. I was just chatting to Shah this morning. Shah is in her second year 
Uh, she's actually on a baking break now because you can do that with Primal Alternative. Uh, and her business in the first year was turning over 45,000 and she bakes two days a week and she takes about 10 weeks annually. She has two young boys and she's currently doing a master's, uh, which is why she's taking a baking break. Um, but let's meet Shah. It will fluctuate, but I think once you um, start forming relationships with a couple of good stockers and really uh, when I first started, I thought I would need five or seven or 10 stockers, uh, but I've got two and they keep me plenty busy uh, to do two and a half um, to three days a week if you take in, into consideration the admin that goes along with um, with running a business yourself and the deliveries, etc. cetera. But um, yeah, I, I think you, you start to build a good relationship with your um, whole, your suppliers and it just becomes a repetitive business. So I've got a supplier um, who's incredible. Uh, it's an online organic farmer's market that um, they don't just buy, purchase or order the product from me. Um, they market the hell out of my product and out of me and they'll showcase stuff about me or um, about the products and they'll, you know, I think my first order with them in the first week was a hundred different products. So I think building that relationship with people and with, with, um, with other groups, uh, pr especially in um, businesses where it's about developing women and women working together, um, that will translate into um, the, the income that you're looking to get. Um, so just from the stockist on one day work a week, I basically earn more than what I ever did working in the corporate environment in one day. So if you took a day by day comparison, um, yeah. So yeah, cool. All right. Okay. It's a bit hard to get these videos, isn't it? Um, so a side hustle. I love this quote. I think it's a very uh, apt for our time times a side hustle is more than just another stream of income it's also the new job security and that's from Forbes and that's beautiful Prime Minister Tenille in WA so what does a successful business mean to you right and we need to just like dismantle all of the you know what does success mean was that like a nice house or a fancy car uh no everybody's got a different version of what success means to them so for me, and I don't know, maybe for you, but definitely for everybody that's joined Primal Alternative, you're getting paid to do something that you love every day. You're going to be your own boss, choose the hours that you work, decide on when you want to take a break, and never miss a social commitment or important family moment because of smelly old work. Do you know what I mean? Like, seriously, what is going on? Like this whole nine to five well it's not even nine to five is it when I was in the corporate it was eight till six and you know if you took a lunch break it was very frowned upon and if you left at six it was frowned upon uh, nonsense absolute nonsense whereas now you know I can work from home I can uh, organize my work around you know running the kids to the dentist um, school I'm just thinking about things that are in the diary for real this week school assembly um, yeah, and having a massage. Yeah, yeah, having a massage, catching up with a friend for coffee. These things are really important for mental health uh, and my health and well being. Um, yeah, so I'm not going to be working eight till six. Thanks very much. So um, let me just let Amanda in. Welcome, welcome, Amanda. Um, so you can see here in this beautiful picture, I was just looking at that house stunning is that imagine putting that on the table for Christmas as a platter. Isn't that fantastic? So that's just some of our, I think it's fat and seedy bread. And you just slice it thinly um, and put it in the oven at 100 degrees for about an hour and you get the best crackers, the best crackers. All right. So how much can I earn as a primalista? This is a really good question. And I just like to have everything. I just want it all out there, right? There's not, no secrets. No, like you won't find that out till you join. It's like, this is how much, it, this is how much you'll earn. So to give you an idea, usually food producers, you're looking for like a 50% gross profit margin um, once you've paid for your cost of goods. So our cost of goods are ingredients, bags, and labels. So here, cost of goods, I've called it cost to produce. So that sort of makes more sense. 
Um, so costs to us to produce uh, our packet mixes is about 32%. If you sell at retail, so selling at the retail price, we have two prices. One is retail and one is wholesale. Retail is when you sell it to the customer. Wholesale is when you sell it to a business that sells on to a customer. So as you can see, they've got to take their slice of the pie, right? That's why it's really um, important to um, focus on having a mixture of wholesale. And so you don't want to just get like six stockists on board, you know, because um, you're not getting as much profit, right? You can see the profit margin here um, is, is a lot less than if you were selling, um, you know, if, if you were selling to a shop instead of selling to the direct customer. And then as we've experienced over the last two years, what if shops close because of lockdowns? How are you then going to make sure that you can still continue to help your customers and get food to them? So that's why we focused a lot more on um, direct sales to the end customer, whether it's by turning up at farmer's markets or um, promoting our product boxes. So our product boxes are a bit like veggie boxes. Um, customers can set and forget because that's another thing to have to remember. It's all right having these products, but having to remember to order it every week is a real pain and can really derail a lot of good efforts. So I, I forget every week to order my primal alternative stuff because I don't have time to bake anymore. I spend more time at the desk and supporting primalistas now taking calls, running the business, that kind of thing. So I work more on the business instead of in it, right? But I forget every week. So I have a like a set and forget order with Primalista Amy and she delivers it to me. So, you know, we're, we're always looking at points of difference. Yeah, there's other paleo breads out there and there's lot of low, low carb stuff out there. And that's fine. And that market will grow. If you think about how the gluten-free market has grown exponentially over the last 10 years, right? This is a market that will grow. We know that. We know it will. But what can we do that's a point of difference that's unique to another paleo bread company? Well, we can deliver it to your door. We can send you a friendly text message to say, hey, do you want, I'm baking today. Do you want anything? I mean, fantastic. We can make that food jump off the shelf and onto the customer's doorstep. We can do it contactless. We're safely isolated from home and we can offer, you know, we can trade electronically as well. How cool is that? All right, so let's look at some other products. So we've got cookies, again, very similar profit margins. Breads. Oh yeah, okay, that's it, and breads, okay. <laughs> if you're desperately trying to screenshot these um, pie charts, just go to a page on the Primal Alternative website called How Much Can I Earn as a Primalista? And it's all on there. So this is a, an infographic of how much you would need to bake. So you remember Shah was saying she, in her first order, she had 100 items. Well, this is what 80 items looks like. Um, and this is about what I baked a week. So I would do two, two mornings of, of baking. So it would take you about 10 hours to produce this. Now, when I say 10 hours, um, you know, I would have brought mine up over two mornings. It's really key as a primalista to cluster jobs together. So if you just turned on the oven to do six and then the next day you turned on the oven to do 10, you know, it would take you much longer. You know that about getting in, this, getting in the zone, getting in the flow, right? So have one set day for baking to start with. Then when that day becomes full, start another day, right? And you can say to people when they place an order, you don't have to say, oh, mm, not baking till Wednesday. No, you can say, thanks for your order. I'll put that in with the next bake day, which happens to be next Wednesday. And I'll be able to deliver that to you on Thursday. Job done, fantastic. So um, this pricing is made up of 50% wholesale, 50% retail. Now, if you are selling predominantly direct to the customer, your gross profit would be higher. If you were selling just purely to shops, it would be a little bit less, but that gives you a rough idea. Not bad, hey? Well, I think it's great, but it's obviously up to you. People have got different ideas of what's worthwhile and what success it means to them. All right, so let's talk about the financial investment. Let's talk about the bonuses. 
Um, so the fab bonus, the top secret fab bonus and the baking starter kit bonus and the thriving business double guarantee. And remember, there's also a yummy um, surprise for one of you live attendees. So stick around. We're nearing the end now. All right. So there's from the 1st of November, um, there was a price rise. So the Prime Minister license has gone up um, by just under $500, okay? So you can pay two ways. You can pay up front if you're like one of those people that likes to just go job done, paid, sunk cost done. Then pay up front and you can save $500, well, $499 when you pay up front. So the Prime Minister membership is made up of a license fee. So that is in exchange for access to the primal alternative intellectual property, which I showed you before, the recipes and resources. And then there's an ongoing monthly membership of $120 a month, which is kind of like a royalties. If it was a franchise, it'd be like a royalties, right? This isn't a franchise, it's a license. The difference between a franchise and the license is control. So with a franchise, there's a lot more control, okay? This is a license. You kind of get a business in the box and it's like, off you go, put your spit on it. You know what I mean? So instead of me going through all of your, sorry, I've got not turned off my emails. Um, Yeah, instead of you telling me all that you uh, sell every month and paying a percentage of what you sell, you just pay your $120 a month. That's it. So whether you do 10 grand a month or $100 a month, you know that your obligation to Primal Alternative is just $120 a month. I like that, right? It's just nice and transparent. If you would rather pay as you go, I do offer a 12-month payment plan. Um, I need to make sure that you are definitely going to be able to pay this off uh, because it's a huge risk to me and I'm a little business. It's a small business. But that's $620 per month for 12 months, and then just $120 a month after that. Now, here's that baking starter kit bonus. So this kit gets shipped out to you and it's worth over $645 and will drastically chop down your startup costs. So what you'll get is an organic fair trade primal alternative apron with your name and state on it. So you'll feel like a master chef or a My Kitchen Rules rock star, but better. (laughs) Um, You get a one-on-one coaching session with me. Uh, We we just start from wherever you're at and you can start that whenever you like. You can take that whenever you like. You get six primal alternative bread tins, which are valued at $120. You get 200 compostable cellophane bags. So all of our packaging is compostable, which is a huge brand proposition. And Alex loves us for that too. (laughs) So does the planet. Um, For uh, pizzas, breads, wraps and cookies, that's valued at $30. Uh, You also get over 220 actually personalized product labels for your first few bakes. So all you would need on top of this um, would be your uh, food business registration and your first lot of ingredients. Doable, hey? You'll also get, as part of the bonuses to join at the moment, over $1,000 worth of digital courses, including Thrive, which is my 21-day clean living journey, Set for Life, My Business Blueprint, which is an 18-page downloadable PDF to help you create a thriving business on your terms, and aligning for success. Is anyone into EFT? I love tapping, tap that stuff away. And it's a beautiful way to um, just feel all of the feels that pop up when you start your own business. Because guess what? Starting a new business is a wonderful opportunity for uh, growth, contribution, and having new experiences, right? And um, yeah, if you've got any stuff you need to work on, it comes so it can be really helpful (laughs) can be really helpful to have some of these anchors and tools and resources to use um to get through it so that's over nine so i think it's actually over ten thousand dollars worth of value for eight four three nine in the first year and here's that thriving business double guarantee so you there's a seven day cooling off period which means you get 
instant access to the recipes and resources, which I showed you before in that little video. And you get to look around, check out the recipes. If you go, oh, this is a lot of rubbish, um, you get your money back. No questions asked. Um, and there's also a guaranteed guaranteed sales in your first three months on your money back. So um, you know, right, that there's a market for this, don't you? Right. So this is almost like just a nice little guarantee to kind of alleviate or soothe any imposter syndrome, doubts, nerves, fears, worries, oh, feelings, right? You're like, it's okay, it's okay. She promised me I'd get a sale in the first three months because <laughs> uh, you will. We know that you will. All right. Are you ready? It's so exciting. It's so exciting. We're nearly there. The fab bonus. All right. So let's have a little historical look back in time at the Primalista license price. So when I first launched the license in August 2016, it's a long time ago now, it was five grand, right? That was it. My first Primalistas, uh, Colette and Leah, uh, it was five grand. Um, they'd seen me at the local farmer's market. They knew how successful Primal Alternative was. I let them look at my invoice book and they were like, yep, yeah, new in. And they paid me five grand. And in exchange, they got an email with five recipes on it. <laughs> that was it, <laughs> right? Since then, Primal Alternative has morphed into a fantastic brand with a lot more a lot more sophisticated and slick and a lot more like nobody knew about Primal Alternative back in 2016, right? But now it's a well-known and loved brand, as I explained to you. You get a lot more than just an email with five recipes on it, right? Um, and then uh, in, when was it, 2017 or it might have been 18, Primal Alternative hit the GST threshold. Woohoo! That was an opportunity for celebration. So the license went up to 5,500. So it's still 5,000, uh, just G plus GST. So today, like nearly, what, six years later, it's 5,999. So I still think, I mean, it's less, less than $100 price increase over the years, right? Plus GST. So I think fabulous, um, fabulous value. And if you want to get out of the recent increase, so it's just gone from 5.5 five to 5.999, literally on the 1st of November. I know, oh no, FOMO, I've missed out. No, you haven't. You can pay up front and still get it at this price uh, and save that $500. So you don't, you don't, you can dodge the price rise by paying up front, which is really, really cool. Now, are you ready? Oh my goodness. So with all of this, there is a $1,000 joining fee. I hope I explained that in the previous slide because I've never put this info session together before. But there's a $1,000 joining fee. So, you know, and I said the total cost is eight four something, something. That includes a $1,000 joining fee. Now, if you book your Primalista call uh, with myself or the Primalistas and you join before the end of November, so I think we've got like two weeks to go, and you mention fab, you have to say fab because they're only trained to let you have this discount <laughs> unless you say fab. <laughs> so you can, in when you book your call, you can put in the in the call, like there's an intake form to fill out. It's really, um, doesn't take very long. Just put in fab, right? And we'll know that you know about the fab bonus. So let's look at how that looks now. So if you pay up front, you can save three, two, seven, 3273 with the um, $0 joining fee and all the bonuses I talked about. So you pay five, five up front and then just $120 a month. So um, let me just work that out for you. Sorry, I should have done that. All right, so uh, there it is. <laughs> You pay six six thousand nine hundred and forty instead of eight thousand five hundred. Hello, such a good deal. And then if you're like, oh, but I don't have five five in the bank, no dramas. You can pay six hundred and twenty dollars a month, and then just one hundred and twenty dollars a month after that, and you still save, right? So you so you're saving uh, two seven seven three. So you're paying that instead of eight four four zero. All right. So with the upfront payment, you can save a grand and a half. When you pay um, on the payment plan, you still save a grand. Plus, 
you get all of those bonuses that I mentioned before. So what do you think? Do you think that's a good deal? If you think it's a good deal, and this is why I think it's good, right? So if you're thinking, and I know there's so many people looking at this option right now, so many people downloading my info pack, downloading my ebook, joining my list, exploring, but not many people joining up now. And that's normal, right? At this time of the year. So the busy time for new primer listers coming on board is usually between March and September. And it starts to slow down a little bit now, naturally, as we edge towards Christmas, school holidays, da 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 but what I'm saying to you now is a such a cool opportunity to jump on board, snag this thousand dollar discount, and then you've got access to the recipes and resources. So you can have a little mosey through everything over the summer, practice a few recipes, do a soft launch, you know, tell your friends and family. And then in the new year, whether it's February or March, whenever you're ready to like, right, hit the ground running, um, you can start your business uh, for 2022. Cool, huh? All right. A question I get asked about a lot as well is what happens when I want to leave, right? And let's face it, I don't see that you're going to be a primalista for the next, you know, 100 years. There will come a time when you you get called to something bigger or you get called to the next phase. It's just inevitable. And being a being a primalista can be a really wonderful transition period you know you go through so much personal growth when you have your own business um, that you can get called to bigger and better things or this could be a stepping stone on the way to something even more amazing or this might be it for you this might be all that's needed um, but still let's have a look at what happens when you hang up your apron so this is a couple of recent primalistas who are just exiting the business so primalista carolyn this is a, an email i got from her last week I've loved my time as a primalista and learned many new skills and discovered some wonderful attributes I was previously unaware of. And then primalista Tanya, who has gone on to create her own, um, this is her down here, her own business um, called Motherhood, the Third Chapter. So she's helping uh, you know, menopausal women who are empty nesters deal with that phase of life. And she says, I have grown and learned so much during my three and a half years as a primalista. The primal alternative community has been one of the warmest, most helpful and supportive spaces. And she's absolutely loved being a part of it. So, you know, she's had the opportunity to um, do the catering for events with Cultured Wellness, events with Low Tox Life, events with Kim Morrison. So when she launched her motherhood the third chapter which was like an interview series she knew all of these people she'd met all of these people um how cool is that so cool i love what she's doing so that's why i'm never sad when a primalista leaves in fact we have a rule in primal alternative that you can't go oh i'm sorry to hear that you're leaving because it's never sad people are always you know they've learned so much they've grown they've contributed had new experiences um and then they're just moving on to something else right and I always remember this when my first um, primalista outside of WA, which is Kyra in ACT, I think she's the bravest primalista of all because she didn't know me. She, I was just a random in WA. She was in ACT and um, she was saying, shall I, it sounds amazing. It's exactly what I'm looking for. Um, shall I do it or shall I do a business course and her husband said to her well you could pay your five grand and do a business course and then you'd still have to come up with a business idea when you've done your course right <laughs> whereas this is like a real life learning on the job business course versus just learning the theory and then you know I see so many how many health coaches how many business coach uh, people who've done business um courses how many do you know that do it and then they come out and they go, oh, I'm not sure which font to use. Like, and I'm not like laughing at these people because it's just so normal. I don't know what colors to go with. Oh no, uh, oh, my website. Oh, I can't do it without a website. You know, and, and then they never, they, there's so many things in the way that stop them offering themselves to the world. Whereas this is all done, all of that like reinventing the wheel, headachey, stuck stuff. It's done. And all you need to do when you're ready to hang up your apron 
is just give seven days notice. And that really is just so that we've got chance to make sure that your um, debit doesn't come out and we've got enough time to cancel it. Easy, right? So after hearing about what's available with the Prime Minister license and seeing how this is going to get you closer to what you want to do, do you have any other questions or concerns that I haven't covered? So we're getting to the last five minutes of the info session now. Um, please pop your questions in the chat box. Um, and I'm going to play to you a final video. Get your questions in the chat group during this time. Um, this is a video of a survey that I did about a year ago, asking the Prime Ministers all the sorts of questions that I get asked. So enjoy, enjoy the music. And, and remember that I was an aerobics instructor. So everything in my life is to music. <laughs> Oh, don't you love it? Uh, reels. Oh, I was made for reels. I just love that. We don't need to watch it again, though. It was good, though. Um, all right. So if you've enjoyed the live event, if you have um, enjoyed the replay, the next step is to book your free 30-minute call with me or the Prime Ministers. What we'll do, like I said to you, it's like a coaching call. We'll get clear on what you're looking for and see if the Prime Minister license can help with that. See if you're a good fit for primal alternative. We'll share all the details of the license with you, answer your questions. And if it's a good fit, offer you the opportunity to join us. So the link for that is primalalternative.com forward slash call. Remember that this fab bonus, this $1,000, $0 joining fee ends at the end of November. And it won't be, I won't be doing it again. It's like a special thing just because of the recent price rise. Okay. So before I get to the yummy prize winner, there's a couple of questions in the chat group here, which I will ask. So Samantha is saying, can any of it be made whole food, plant-based, no oil? So, um, oh, sorry about that. Uh, whole food, plant-based. So everything is plant-based. Everything's whole food and plant-based. We use olive oil, which I understand is plant-based. Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, we also use eggs in quite a lot of our products. So um, make sure that you understand which products don't have eggs in. There's nine products that are dairy free uh, and egg free or vegan, plant based. Um, so nobody that as far as I know is doing this range purely the uh, vegan only, but there are nine products. So I think it's doable when I think that I started just doing five products. Um, sorry about bing, bing, bing. Um, yes. So it's something to consider. Let me know if I would say olive oil is plant-based. Let me know. Did you cover how many primalistas in an area? 
Uh, no, I didn't actually. And that's a really good question. So with the Primal Lister license, you can produce the Primal Alternative range anywhere in the world. Um, however, you can't approach existing Primal Alternative stockists or customers or markets. Not that you would anywhere, right? Because everybody that comes to Primal Alternative, nobody wants to step on anyone's toes. So it's a very collaborative brand. Um, and we communicate with each other just with an internal Google Doc called the Target Stockist Spreadsheet. We just communicate there, which stockists we're going to, what they've said. Um, yeah, so it's pretty straightforward. And I think that where we're at now, a lot of prim potential primalists think, oh, there's somebody in my area, that's it. But, you know, you've got to remember, you're only one woman and you can probably only bake so much a week probably 25 to 50 families that you could potentially bake for on a weekly basis. And how many families are there in your area that might be interested in gluten-free, grain-free, dairy-free, vegan, plant-based options? A lot, right? <laughs> a lot. So as we stand, we haven't reached saturation point. However, as part of the due diligence that we do for you and we do it together on the call, we'll ask you to suggest where you want to get your customers from and we'll check the target stockist spreadsheet and we'll also check the stockist page. There might be, you know, a couple of overlaps. You're like, oh, that health food shop that you wanted to do is all we're already stocking because, you know, we do have like 450 stockists now. So there might be a little bit of overlap. But that just means you have to think of other places where we could sell to. And I, if I was coming in as a primalist now, I would focus entirely on farmers markets and doing the product boxes. I might have a couple of stockists just for credibility. <laughs> but um, yeah, I would just be focusing on getting these set and forget boxes. I've just seen, you know, that veggie box model. And I just think it's gold. It's gold, gold. So does that answer your question, Mandy? Cool. I'll book in a call. Yay. Looking forward to it. So Samantha says being whole food, plant-based, I don't consume any oil at all. Okay. Plant-based and vegan still have oil. I have to eat vegan when I go out. You can't avoid oil, but definitely no animal products. Yeah, cool. Right. No, wow. I didn't know whole food, plant-based meant no oil. So I don't actually know which products we've got that don't have oil in because it's never, <laughs> not a very common question. Um, but the best thing for you to do would be to look at either our product range page or if you just go into the shop, primalalternative.com forward slash shop, all the products are on there and all the ingredients are listed so you can decide um, if it's good for you or not. All right. I could still make and sell items with oil. I just wouldn't consume them myself. Yeah, that's 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 a very good point. You could just do that. And you know, like there's, um, yeah, I think that when we're doing a business, it's, it can be sometimes really, you know, like, for example, some of our primalistas are really staunch, low carb keto themselves, but that doesn't mean that they only bake the low carb and keto products because they know that not everybody is low carb and keto or, you know, not everybody is plant-based or doesn't want to eat oil. What you're looking at is, um, a business that's aligned with your values, but is uh, got enough offerings to make it a viable business. Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense. So you can still consume what you want to consume. So like the keto, the hardcore keto, um, Primal Lister Terry Allen, I'm thinking of you, um, you know, you stick keto yourself, but you know, you're still making the other products uh, for other customers. Um, yeah. And sometimes, you know, within one family, you might get someone who's super low carb, but the kids love the fruit toast and dad loves the granola or the cookies, like in our house, you know? So there's something for everyone, I think, in this range from like the fussy kid um, to the dubious husband. You know, my husband was dubious. Oh, well, I'm going to do this, but only if we can have cookies right through to the really, um, you know, staunch, dedicated health um, advocate. All right, my beautiful, beautiful people. Thank you so much for being here. And the final thing before we go, I nearly forgot. Can you believe that? You've sat here for an hour and 20 minutes and you're like, where's the bloody yummy prize, Helen? <laughs> so bye. I'm going to pick a winner. 
it's Manda Palmer is the winner of our yummy prize. So congratulations, Manda. Awesome. So what happens is um, I just would love you to send me an email to info at primalalternative.com with your physical address. We don't do PO boxes, physical address, phone number, uh, and that'll do. Yeah. And um, I will get a lovely prize of some Primal Alternative goodies out to you. So thank you for watching. Thank you to you watching the replay. Don't forget that the fab bonus, shh, don't tell anyone else, fab bonus is only going to happen until November. And then it's pretty much quiet time over the summer. And we will be back with a vengeance. Um, you'll see new Prime Minister, new Prime Minister, new Prime Minister uh, in the new year. So get a jump on it. Um, get a start on it. Take advantage. Save yourself a thousand dollars. And um yeah, grab this bonus. It's amazing. It's such a good time to get started. So I just wanted to thank you all for watching. Thank you all for your time. Thank you so much for your interest in Primal Alternative. And I hope to see you all again soon.